There's a triple defense that can be used against anxiety. When these three defenses enter your mind, they go down into your heart and settle, and you'll be healed. The first defense was taught to us by our Father, His Holiness, Pope Shenouda, which we all know but just don't use enough. They are the expressions, God is present, all is for the good, and will come to an end. These are a beautiful triple defense. It's truly the main cure to anxiety. What does God is present mean? It means everything, un everything is under control. All is for the good means that he's not just present, but also his nature is good. So in the end, everything will flip to be good. Anything at all will end up good. Anything. All the stuff that's messed up will turn out to be right. All is good. And if there is a problem or tribulation or disaster or sin, its destiny is to come to an end. There's another triple defense, God's triple defense. God loves me so much, God is almighty, and God knows everything. Why do I say this is a triple defense? Because you're loved by God, that's an important feeling. You're not a nobody, and you're not just anybody. Regardless of your sins, God truly loves you. And he who loves you is capable of anything. Not only is he capable, he knows everything. That completes it, because he who loves you is capable and extremely wise and knows everything. So keep reciting these things on the level of your mind, heart, and your tongue, meaning say them out loud. When you are wrestling with anxiety, use these expressions in your language. God knows. God loves me. God won't leave me. God is able. Say it over and over. To people. To yourself. Say it in secret. Say it in your head. The important thing is keep using this triple defense against anxiety. Every triple defense says the same thing. And they are real, not some delusion. But you imagine that anxiety is stronger, that it is more widespread. Although the reality, the fixed reality, is that we're supposed to conquer anxiety. Is it a lie when I tell you God is present? That's the truth. Is it a lie when I say to you God loves you? God is capable. God is all-knowing. Nevertheless, horror, anxiety, fear, and the like are widespread. Do you now understand what the liar is doing? The devil? The devil is canceling out the fixed truths. He's breaking them so people will live in horror and anxiety because all of that is contrary to faith. And lack of faith makes people perish. Here's another triple defense. He who carried us yesterday will carry us tomorrow. Meaning, whatever has passed yesterday has passed and tomorrow will pass also. He wills all people to be saved. Meaning what? Meaning, when it's all said and done, God wants us in heaven. That is an extremely reassuring thought. He's the one who wants to see us in heaven, and he'll rejoice greatly when we get there. The third one, my portion is the Lord, meaning I'm interested in nothing except him. I can lose anything because he's, in, he's enough to satisfy me. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your father knows that you need these things. The greatest sign of a Christian that's missing is the absence of of anxiety. Believe me, if we, as Christians, stopped worrying, Christianity would spread like wildfire. Because the world's disaster of today is anxiety. All people suffer from awful anxiety. God's children should not have that. It's unnatural. If a single Christian who doesn't worry is present in a space with non-Christians, after a little bit the entire space could become Christian, just because he didn't worry.